The doctor is in, and today we have an M19 booster box to open. Oh yeah, let's just have a nice chill Sunday. Open up this box. Hope everybody's having a good pre-release weekend. I sure am. Probably show some of the pulls I got in a different video. Obviously no pickup this week because of all the M19 madness, but... If you guys enjoy the content on this channel, don't forget to be subscribed, hit that like button, share it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Oh yeah. What kind of goodies can we get from this M19 box? Move the whole box right out of the way. And let's just go ahead and open it. Nothing specific I'm looking for, just nice chill opening. I'm not gonna go over the commons because it is a corset after all. So we got a Gur Per Guide. Lightning Mare, Regal Blood Lord, and we got a knight. Nothing too spicy in that first one. Alright, next pack. Anybody have a really, really good record with their pre-release? I know I did. Uh, we got a Vine Mare, Enigma Drake, Departed Deccan, and Win Reader Sphinx. I don't, even, I don't even remember seeing some of these cards in the spoiler season. But like I was saying, yeah, I did a really, I had a really good record of four and O oh during the release event. Playing black green. Whoa, that was a misprint. Playing black green. Did play the giant spider. Had to play the giant spider in reference to a rustic studies giant spider video that I was featured on. So we got a Stitcher's supplier. Brawl Bash Org, Murder, Awesome Card Unlimited, and we got a Sarkhan's Unsealing, Planes, and a Dragon. So many different cards in this card, jeez. Get that plastic out of here, just make sure this video's not too long and ramble on too much. Got a Fiery Finish, a Meteor Golem, a Sky Raider Patrol, and one with the Machine. Highland Lake and an Ox. I'm not gonna really keep all these like sorted by like commons on commons and stuff like that, but I'll just keep them sorted by the rares and the good stuff. Everything in the middle, everything else can go to the side. All right, so what do we got? We got a suspicious a bookcase, quite suspicious. Shield Mare, Horizon Scholar, and we got a desecrated tomb as there is some kind of weird construction going on in the background. Oh joy, how I love it. All right, no mythic so far. So what do we got? Aether Tunnel, Exclusion Mage, Matilla Burglar, and we got a Demon of Catastrophes, which was the promo, and a Foil Mountain. All right. Nothing too crazy yet. The good stuff must be buried deep in the middle. Let's get something right now though. That'd be very nice. So we got a Ravenous Harpy. Thud. Hilarious. Draconic. Draconic Disciple. And we got a Dragon's Furred. Tranquil Expanse. And this is one of my new favorite zombie cards. Look at this token, it's pretty awesome. Doesn't compare anything to the unglued one, but that is pretty much second in line in my book. All right. Da, da, da. Nightmares of Thirst, pretty creepy. Volley Veteran, Departed Deckhand, and we got a Patent Rebuilding. Oh, that cool zombie token again. No foil rare yet, or mythic. Still hopes for that, and still no mythics. Still a lot of hopes for all the mythics. Oh wow, Reclamation Sage reprinted. Pretty awesome card in EDH. We got an engineer, uh, aerial engineer. Vigilant Bailoff. It's like laughing, creepy. And spit by oh spit flame. Orchard and a knight. Still nothing. What is going on with this box? Is there anybody open a box that has zero mythics? 
I would like to know that immediately. We got a twins. Whoa, focus. The old switcheroo. We got a poison tip archer. And Elvish Clan Caller. Oh, and this is the Nico Bolas flip card. Or, or token card. Pretty cool. New interesting design. Elf Warrior, nothing too crazy. Alright. Keeping it nice and chill. Chill vibes all the way. No need to get all crazy and hyped yet, because nothing has been pulled that's been all crazy and hyped. Alright. Aether Shield, Artificer, Plague Mare. Horizon Scholar, and we got the Gore Claw, Terra of Kisima, or Sima. Woodland Stream, and we got an Johnny Emblem. A foil Plains will also be real nice to find. Alright, this is all the stuff nobody cares about. Shocking. And another Aether Shield Artificer. Another Plague Mirror. A Johnny's Primate, super awesome card, and... Our first mythic, and it has to be the granddaddy, Nico Bolas the Ravenger, which flips into Nico Bolas the Arisen. Oh, yeah, that's the way to start off a mythic in a box about time. And we got a Colossal Majesty. Oh, and we got the token for Nico Bolas in the pack with him. Pretty freaking badass. All right. One awesome mythic so far. I wonder how many, what the mythic uh, average is for these boxes. We got a Ravenous Harpy, Infernal Helion, Psychic Symbiont, and oh wow, a second mythic right after Nico Bolas, another Elder Dragon. Ho! Oh. And another foil. Huh. Wall of Vines, and we got Cinder Baron and a Goblin. So we got two mythic dragons back to back. Can we go for three? Three for three? Can we get all, all of them? The whole family? The whole family? So we got Diamond Mare. Uh, Triton Majesty, Vampire Sovereign, and... Oh, we did pull another Mythic. Mythic back to back to back to back. And we got the Apex of Power. As I desire, so shall it be, Nico Bolas. Wow. All right. Doubt we'll get a fourth mythic. Back to back to back, but three mythics so far. What do we got in this pack? We got, was this Arcane Encyclopedia, Ruptured Spire, Volcanic Dragon, and Graveyard Marshal. Pretty cool. And loving the new cat token art as well. Pretty freaking sweet. Got a Marshall. Pretty cool. Let me just uh, organize those right there. Yeah, there we go. Next pack. Let's see if we can get a Lily out of all this. Lily goes really well with Nico Bolas, right? And we got a Millstone, Siege Breaker Giant, Meteor Golem, and. Oh, that was close. That was a Liliana's contract for from Nico Bolas. Or not from Nico Bolas, but. Her contract defaulted to Nico Bolas. That's why she's right there. Thought of her calling a Lily, but who knows? Maybe she's still in here. Plenty of packs to go. We get a Druid of Horns, Psychic Corrosion, Gargoyle Sentinel, and a Demanding Dragon. I actually like this dragon a lot. I think this dragon will see some standard play. That thing is pretty, pretty beastie. All right, trying to keep this video not too long so everybody can relax on this Sunday before having to go back to work or whatever they have to do on Monday. We got a skilled animator, Infernal Helion. You gotta sleep, you know? And we got a Crucible of Worlds, holy f All right, that's a nice one. All right, what else does this box contain? Come on, keep giving the juice. All right, we got a Shield Mare, Sky Raider Patrol, Fell Spectre, and a Growth. Whoa, that thing is huge. 
huge ant. Oh, look at this little fat bat. Oh, look, he's so cute. All right. They were a little more than halfway through this box. I mean, we're exactly at the halfway point. But so far, so good. Nico Bolas and Crucible of Worlds. We got a Rogue's Gloves, Dragon Egg, Lightning Strike, and Alpine Moon. That's another cool hit. I think that's a real sleeper right there. Gotta keep an eye on that one. Still haven't hit the foil rare either. Hopefully it's a foil mythic planeswalker. That'd be really awesome. So what we got? We got a Flood Divination, Pyromancer's Cage, got the Heroic Reinforcements, and a Lana Selfless Champion. Yeah. Put that right there. Beastie Beast. Oh, cool beast art. Beast token. Nice. All right. Let's get this on the move, guys and girls. We got a mixed stand, Druid of Horns, a Ghoul, and Supreme Phantom. Oh, here's our four rare. A Janta, a Gigantosaurus. That's pretty cool. It's gonna be a really sweet card for Gisha. All dinos are welcome. And Mono Green may be a chance in standard. We got a Thud, Diamond Mare, Enigma Drake, and Jin of Wishes, Dothran Island. All right, now we're gonna increase the pace. Nobody cares about these commands. Ah, oh, Dragon Egg, Dryad Green Seeker, Surge Mare, and we got a Hungering Hydra. Man, this thing is pretty freaking crazy. It's almost like bigger. This thing for Green X comes in with X one 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 counters on it. It can't be blocked by more than one creature. And then whenever it's dealt damage, put that many one one counters on it. It must survive the damage to get those counters. Really freaking sick card. Close to bigger. I guess that's to fix bigger on a creature. Or yeah, no, it's like bigger, but for itself. Yeah, I know what I mean. All right, Bone to Ash, Murder, and Exclusion Mage. We got a Palaka Worm, Vivian Reed Emblem, but not any Planeswalker. Oh, well, we, I guess we did get one Planeswalker, that being Nico Bolas, so not that bad. All right, we got a Blanche Wood Armor, Lightning Mare, Matilda Burglar, and we got a, uh, what the hell is this? The Awakener? I haven't even seen that card before. Oh, this is a cool Avatar 4-4 flyer. I really like that they're really doing a lot better with the token art. I'm really trying to like change it up instead of having the same drawn out art all the time. We got a skilled animator, exactly. Lightning Strike, Switcheroo, and we got a Master Dopterus Psy. All right. We'll get in there, we'll get in there. What are you guys hoping to pull from these M19 boxes when you get yours? We got a Recollect, Johnny's Primate, Gravedigger, and got a Pyromancer here and a Foil Divination, pretty sweet. Yeah, what are you guys hoping to pull from your M19 boxes? See, Crucible Worlds is definitely one of them. Nika Bolas is another one. For me, you know, Liliana, I gotta, I have to have a Lily. I almost skipped those. Uh, Fountain of Renewal, Make a Stand. Knightly Valor and Death Baron. That's another good one to pull. Especially if you enjoy your skeletons and zombies. And this is a zombie wizard. For those people that like to play wizard tribal. Maybe incorporate both of those tribes. We got a Psychic Corrosion. Got a Leonin Vanguard. Colossal Majesty, and another guy, Jantasaurus, and a little Patty Bat in the back. What have we got in these last couple of packs? Got a Novice Knight, Raise, or Rise from the Grave, Bell Spectre, and Majesty's Scepter, another Nickel Bolas token thing. Man, they're giving those out like everybody's gonna get a Nickel Bolas or something. Or there's gonna be a multiple in a box. We got a Titanic Rift, Volcanic Dragon, Brawl Bash, Org, and Remorseless Cleric. 
I think those uh, Nico Balls and the Kuzwool are the biggest hits in the set. I might be wrong. If somebody definitely knows that's wrong, definitely tell me in the comment section down below. We got a Gurper Guide. Let me try to skip anything else. Double Cast, Satar Enchanter. It's gonna be really good in Savala. And we got uh, Archaeologist here, Mystical Type. Oh yeah, the other big hit would be uh, Omniscience. Omniscience. You know how everybody likes to say Omniscience. Yeah, Omniscience, I guess, would be the other big hit. Gift of Paradise, Double Cast, Draconic, Discipline, and I think that is a Planeswalker, and a Johnny Adversity of Tyrants. Sick. Hells yeah, we got a Johnny, we got the Emblem, we got Nico Bolas, we got Crucible Worlds, we got two, I think, one other dragon, we got the Apex of Power, I'm gonna double check all the mythics in a sec. Wreck Tower, always awesome. Departed Deckhand, Herald of Faith, and Cleansing Nova with a foil sift. Sick sift, man. It's in foil. All right, and for the last pack, can we get something crazy? We got a Blood Divination, Gutter Snipe. We got a Vampire Sovereign, and we got a Dragon's Horde. Great. A double. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to clean this up real quick and then see how many Mythics were actually in here. I'll be right back. So, it was a total of a five Mythic box. We got the Nico Bolas. Pretty freaking awesome. We got the Strategist. The Apex of Power. Almost had Powder. And we got Crucible Worlds and a Johnny. Adversity of Tyrants. We got all these. We got five Mythics. I'm not going to go through the whole pile because if you skip all the way to the end and see what all the good stuff was or know what the foil rare or mythic was, then you have to go right back to the beginning and watch it all over again. So don't forget to take two, call me in the morning, and as always, guys, it's Doc MTG saying peace.